Hi there, I'm Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition. And in this video, we're gonna take a quick look at how to work the double-ended bag. So we're getting ready to work the double-ended bag, but safety first, you need to learn how to properly wrap your hands. And if you're not sure how to do that, then click on the description in the link below. When using the double-ended bag, you must wear gloves. The bag is attached above and below by elastic bungee cords, and you do not want to injure your unprotected hands on those attachments. So the bottom line, please use some gloves. People see the double-ended bag in the movies or in gyms, and their gut reaction is, wow, that looks cool and I really want to try it. But then they feel intimidated. The bag is attached to the ceiling and to the floor by elastic bungee cables, which means that once you make contact with the bag, the elastic properties of the bungee cables are going to make that bag move all over the place. And that's why it looks a little tricky. The double-ended bag is just awesome for improving your cardio and your muscular endurance. As well, it will help you develop your speed, reflexes, and your coordination. But best of all, it just destroys calories because it keeps you constantly moving. And because of that, it's one intense workout. It's also amazing if you have any injuries. Because the bag has a give to it, it impacts your joints a lot less than using the heavy bag. It's also a great option for people that have mild knee injuries. And that's because you can just stand there in place and punch the bag. No need for running and jumping on Stairmasters or treadmills. The double-ended bag engages a lot of muscles, and before you know it, you're drenched in sweat and burning a ton of calories. I know the bag looks a little tricky, so let's demystify it for you. Start off very slowly and just get used to the rhythm of the bag. Each bag will have a different rhythm depending on how taut the bungee cords were installed. I would recommend that you start off using just one jab at a time. Nothing fast or fancy, just that one jab. You want to just get used to the rhythm. Notice the physics here. Straight punches like the jab have the bag rebounding back and forth straight towards you. Oh yeah, one quick tip. Don't stand so close to the bag that can actually hit you in the face. So the straight punches will have the bag moving back and forth towards you. Try throwing a few with your rear hand. Nothing too hard, just make contact. Now the arc punches like the hooks will change the direction of the bag. It will no longer be moving back and forth towards you, but it will be moving from side to side. Take your time and learn how to control the bag. Remember, straight punches have the bag moving back and forth towards you, while the arc punches like the hook have the bag moving from side to side. Speed will come in time, but in the beginning, just keep your hands moving and get used to the rhythm of the bag. Don't worry, you'll be swinging like a pro in no time. Workouts on the double-ended bag are just awesome because it engages your entire body. And before you know it, time has just flown by because you're too busy and focused to get bored. 20 minutes will seem like two, and you'll be left soaking wet in sweat, and someone may just call the police on you because you just murdered a bunch of calories. Most of all, don't worry about people watching you. Even world champion boxers had to start out somewhere. Take your time and remember to have fun and this will be a great source of cardio that you can add to your fitness regimen. Once you have practiced a little bit and got used to how the bag works, click the link in the description below and try out a beginner's routine. This has been Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition and if you like these videos then please click below to like or subscribe and as always thanks for tuning in.